ultimate dream here is actually um, showcasing artists as entrepreneurs. We're trying to highlight and helping other artists to use their talents for a more practical way as well. Hi, I'm Rabi Marie Salvation, and I'm one of the core members of r 2 d I am actually in charge of the logistics and the cataloging of the paintings and other artworks for r 2 d So let me start first with describing r 2 d in three words. So r 2 d is expressive, ardent, and entrepreneurial. It all started during the pandemic because we've been talking about like how do we bring art to people. Of course, you are thinking of putting it up on, an, on the internet, but at the same time, you're going to say, so how will you differentiate it from other galleries or other people doing the same thing? Um, not until we were given the platform to actually present this idea that we said, okay, we'll do it like this. So it's somehow similar to a gallery because you have all these artworks. We're going to really look into each artwork and determine is it sellable, is it relatable, or like is it something that will cater to the taste of people. And then by people, I mean like interior designers or homeowners. In R2D2, we don't really like have a specific way of choosing artists or like we already have certain people in mind just because let's say they're known it's not like that of course we would start with people who we know people we've worked with before and then at the same time what we focus more is on the artwork so when we give them like an invitation they will submit to us their artworks and then we'll look into it our ultimate dream here is actually um, showcasing artists as entrepreneurs. We're trying to highlight and helping other artists to use their talents for a more practical way as well. What do I mean by that? Uh, if you are an artist who usually have like gallery shows, it's not like every month or every week you're gonna have a show. Sometimes like galleries are already full for a year, so you really have to wait for, for quite some time. That's where actually this connotation came na, Ah, sa art walang pera dyan. Kasi you're not on, always gonna be able to sell something. And then, if you have that waiting time, then saan ka kukuha ng pera? So that's what we want to push here. Um, artists, as, as, as entrepreneurs, so using your talent uh, as a means of earning money, but at the same time, you're not, hindi ka nagpapakasell out here. It's still your talent. So here, you're putting your talent to use to earn money and you're not gonna be boxed with like a conceptual show. When you say something is fake, it's immediately something that is plagiarized. Something that is copied exactly to the T with someone else's artwork. It's very different when you say that you take an inspiration from an artwork and it's very different when you copy it exactly. A collective is like a more relaxed approach. Here, it's just all about bringing your ta talent, ha putting it out in the world for everyone to see, and at the same time, selling it. So it's, it's like a more practical approach. It helps artists bring their artwork closer to other people. You can also help other artists who are not based in Manila. We have artists who's, who, who are from Davao. So that space that, that um, kilometers apart is being cut short by the internet. What we notice, people who tends to buy art, they would first and foremost look at the artwork as something that is relatable to them. I remember one collector saying that 
he knows na this artwork is really meant for him. He cannot stop thinking about it. And that's what we notice. First, is it relatable to them? Is it something that evokes emotions to them? Of course, there are still people who look for artworks based on the artist. Because the, sty the style of the artist matches their taste, their personal taste. When looking into spaces and then having art, as they say, diba, an artwork breathes life into space. It, it gives a different meaning to a space. It's not just, ah, uh, it's beautiful, it adds prettiness to the space. It's not just like that. Because at the same time, you would have to consider the user of the space. Some tips that I can give to those who would like to buy art or collect art is that first, um, try to read up. Read up like what are the artworks or art forms and that you like, or that talks to you. Because art is not just like a painting. Art can be music, art can be theater. What is it about art that you like or that sparks interest to you? If it's a painting, then what about the painting? Is it the color? Is it the composition? And then, of course, you also learn about how to take care of an artwork. Do you have a proper storage for it? Do you have a proper wall or where to hang it? So you have to take those things into consideration. One of the adjectives that I use to define art to do is expressive. So it's gonna differ from person to person because it's always um, fit to my persona, to the, to the emotions that I feel, to what I go through every day, to what I see every day. I may like abstract and you may not like abstract. So for me, it's always personal and expressive at the same time. One local artist that I really like is Acuna. He has this abstract work where it's just like a splash of emotions, the colors of orange and red. And it's really striking. And every time I see it, it always speaks something new to me. Like, say, now it speaks of rage. Then later on, it speaks to me of calmness. Like, it's that opposite. But every time I see it, it's always something new to me. The most fulfilling part of being an r 2 is one, you can express yourself. Okay? Do whatever you want release your talent and at the same time you meet new and different creative people every day because in meeting them you also learn new things you, know, you you learn how do they do their art how do they perceive their art and then it makes you also think hmm is this applicable to me oh i understand this that's what i really like about being an art to do as a collective you meet different sorts of people creative people that also help in your in my own creativity